Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So, to celebrate Daily Duels, episode 365, an entire year of Daily Duels, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do the deck profile of the Master Rail deck that will be replacing Mermel's whenever Mermel's getting taken off. So, uh, this is my deck, and I can tell you right now, it's much different than what you would usually see from uh, you know, people doing their Mass Hero deck profile so far. But I'm just going to go over it, and if you guys want to go ahead and, you know, make suggestions for the deck and make changes, then we can go ahead and have this deck rare to go for uh, when it'll be put on uh, Daily Duels. It'll be put on Wednesday, as you can tell by the thumbnail. So that means I will be, you know, uh, slaying with Slate using the Mermel deck. I mean, not using the Mermel deck, using the Mass Hero deck, so therefore, it needs the, you know, the anti-macro that I usually do when I tag with my partner, so that's why there's really no macro, but, uh, this one's not really a competitive version of the deck, more of just a fun play, so I'm just gonna go through the deck profile and tell me what you guys think. So, of course, we're running three Bubble Men, you know, Bubble Man's awesome, you can go ahead and search them, and then you drop them, and then you just, you exceed, I mean, when you had no, uh, cards in your hand, of course, so, uh, of course, it kind of has the aspect of Bubble B also, it's a water, so, you know, we're going to be miracle fusing for that Absolute Zero, because Absolute Zero is an absolute monster, so definitely want to do that. Then, we run three Shadow Mists, of course. Shadow Mist is our search. Essentially, that's it. Uh, don't need Stratos. I do not need Ecall. I mean, as you can clearly see, I, my heroes that I run are very limited, so, uh, like, ooh, run Ecall. I can Ecall for Bubble Man. Nah, I can e call for Shadow Mist, but I'd rather summon it from the deck so I can get my search for, um, uh, you know, one of my change quick play spell cards. I can search for uh, a Wild Heart. That's it. Wow. You know, I'm not running Alias. I kind of felt like A, the extra deck didn't have room for it, and B, it really wasn't that spectacular. You know, if I'm going to be Miracle Fusing, I'd rather Miracle Fuse into Absolute Zero, who, when, you know, when he's removed from the field, he'll get to wipe all their monsters, than Miracle Fuse into, you know, Shining, and then, oh, I get my monsters removed from play back to my hand. Okay, I guess. So, that's the reason why there's no Alias also. He really doesn't bring anything new to the table besides being a 19 beat on the deck. Doesn't have room to be running any, uh, you know, uh, oh my god, what's that? It's called Gemini Sparks, so... All he would be is a 19 beater, so... I just felt like didn't, I really didn't have room for him, or I didn't want to put him in the deck. Uh, next, we run one Wild Heart. We run one Wild Heart because Deanne is awesome, so you obviously go ahead and just change into uh, him. Um, thinking about maybe taking him out and putting in another form change, just so I can go ahead and just change one of my Mass Heroes into Deanne, and then, you know, like, attack, form change, turn into Deanne, Deanne attack. Is that how it works? Let me see. Form change. Target one of your control. Turn it to I might, I might do two form change over, over the Wild Heart. I don't know. I don't really have to think about that because I really don't feel like Wild Heart really brings any things to the table besides just Deanne. So I might do that. I might just go ahead and switch Wild Heart for another Deanne. I mean, Wild Heart for another form change and go with that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Form change. Yeah. So, no Wild Heart. So, yeah, now my only search target, because you can't search Shadow Miss, right? Yeah, so it has to be Bubble Man. So my only search target now is Bubble Man, which is fine. Don't care. That's not what I want to do with Shadow Miss. I want to turn into Mass Heroes. This is Mass Heroes, not Elemental Heroes. And Heroes already have enough consistency, you know? So now you got three Shadow Miss, three E-Calls, three Hero Libs, three Pods, three... Uh, I mean, one Stratos, one Rota, so I think that's enough. So, really don't need it. This, it's just gonna be Bubble Man and uh, Shadow Miss. That's it. So we're good. Uh, we run three Fire Hand and three Ice Hand. Like I said, the deck is consistent, but you know, Fire and Ice Hand are just awesome. And what better way to help with your consistency than being a butthole and just doing a Fire and Ice Hand? So uh, might as well. Why not? <laughs> Uh, this is my own personal tech, but I'm gonna go with Mystic Tomato. You guys are probably wondering, like, why Mystic Tomato? I like Mystic Tomato because, uh, it can deck thin, it can summon itself, it can summon Shadow Mist, which means that I get to search from one of my mass, I mean, my change cards. I like it over, and then it can also summon, uh, Summon Runk, and then, you know, I can pitch a spell and, you know, go ahead and summon Shadow Mist from the deck as well. So, um, uh, helps me with consistency overall. I just think it's an awesome card, and I wouldn't be surprised if people actually played in their hero decks, because it's just that awesome, along with Fire and Ice Hand, so... Yep, that's awesome. I'm running three goldfish because uh, pretty much I can normal summon goldfish and goldfish will summon shadow mist. I'll go ahead and get my search and I can go ahead and exceed into something or I can just go ahead and keep it there or something. But uh, it also helps with the consistency. You know, if I open up with a shitty hand, if I open up like a bubble man or something, I can summon the bubble man. So I uh, think the card is uh, fairly useful in this deck just to go into your uh, your rank force and also to special summon uh, your shadow mist in search. 
Let me run uh, two Summer Monk, because Summer Monk is awesome. You know, you pitch a spell, lots of spells in here, as you can clearly see. So go ahead and pitch a spell, summon Shadow Miss, and search. And then you can either XC or, uh, you know, go ahead and mass change uh, the Shadow Miss next turn to a Dark Law. So, uh, you know, that works as well. Uh, run three Hero Lives. Hero Lives is better than Econ this deck, just being able to go play Hero Lives, pay half our life points, go ahead and summon Shadow Mist, search, uh, set it, then pass the opponent, go ahead and turn the Shadow Mist into a Dark Claw. It's just awesome. Just uh, more summoning from the deck. So, uh, and especially summoning Dark Claw is more important than any search, but definitely it would be nice to get the search off. That's why so you wait until next turn instead of this turn. Then we run um, three Mass Chart, Mass Change. Mass Change, of course, is the main card. Go ahead and just uh, send a mess, send a hero monster to a graveyard, and special summon the master from your deck with the same attribute. So, go ahead and turn uh, Bubble Man into an Acid. Turn uh, uh, Sh Dark Law. I mean, Shadow Mist into a Dark Law. It's essentially, that's it. Uh, let me run. Well, now we are going to run two form changes, only one. But uh, we can go ahead and target one of our hero uh, fusion monsters, return that to the extra deck, and then we can go ahead and summon a master with the same level as the original monster, uh, but with a different name. And it's treated as a mass change summon, so we can go ahead and go like, um, uh, you know, sub summon Bubble Man, uh, mass change into Acid, blow up my opponent's back row, attack, form change into DN, DN attack, destroy your monsters, summon Dark Law, Dark Law, go ahead and get me a, a mass change, uh, set it and pass your opponent during my opponent's turn, go ahead and turn him into a Dark Law, so uh, maybe a play like that might be interesting, so. Uh, yeah, since we don't, since we have a uh, form change, we really do not, we really don't need uh, Wild Heart. So I think that maybe the two form change just for consistency might be better than the Wild Heart, which really didn't bring anything new to the table. All right, next we run uh, two Mass Charge because Mass Charge is awesome. Just being able to re recycle uh, Hero Monster and uh, a Quick Play Spell card, and then just being able to put those targets back in the deck to just go off with more plays next turn is just awesome. It's a plus one. Uh, next we run 3 Miracle Fusion, and Miracle Fuse, pretty much our main target to go into is absolute zero, but if push comes to shove and we got 2 Mass Heroes in the graveyard, I totally wouldn't mind Miracle Fusing into Contrast Hero Chaos, which is obviously the thumbnail because he most reminds me of one of my favorite common Riders, as you can see by the thumbnail, which is a uh, uh, common Rider Double Fang Joker form, which is totally what this, com what this Mass Hero is based off of, totally, like you, can, you can tell by the thumbnail. Uh, next we run one Dark Hole, because Dark Hole is awesome, and, you know, sometimes we might be down, so might as well Dark Hole. Three Lance, I was running three MSC, but I decided to go with Lance, because A, uh, Lance, I'm not really worried about the back right half my way, and also Lance can help me offensively and defensively through that minus 800 to my opponent, so, because the mass heroes, their attacks aren't that high, you know, Dark Law is only 2400, so being able to Lance during the damage step will definitely help, and then, of course, three Royal Decrees just to lock down the back row when we tag duel. Alright, extra deck, uh, three Absolute Zeros, Absolute Zero is the main guy, of course, um, I could probably drop this down to two, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna drop this guy down to two, see, I'm gonna change three, I'm gonna drop this guy down to two, I'm gonna put two Deans, just in case, because that form change, uh, Dian, there we go, so we'll go with two of you, uh, two Dark Law, because that's who, how many you should be running, uh, two acid, so I can maybe change uh, absolute zero into acid, and we go ahead and the field. But we got a lot of water, you know. We got a uh, bubble man, so you know, if we're gonna mass change, we might as well. We can go ahead and mass change the bubble man. Uh, we're gonna go run two DN. DN is awesome when you destroy the opponent's monster by balance of the graveyard. You can special summon one level four or lower hero monster from your deck. It's a 28 B to run over with 3000 D. Run over your opponent's monster. Go ahead and summon out. Uh, uh, Shadow Mist, get your search, set it, and then go ahead and mass change, then you'll have a DN and a Dark Claw on the field for next turn. We run one Contrast Hero Chaos. Uh, if the time ever comes where I'll be able to Miracle Fusion into this card, then that would be awesome. And uh, once per turn during the player's turn, I can target one face of card on the field and negate that card's effect until the end of the turn. Very powerful, 3000 meter. Uh, we run two one ones because one one is pretty much going to be one of the go-to cards when we exceed. It won't be very often, but when it does, it's a safe card. Uh, uh, you can run one Castell, because Castell is really awesome. One Exiton, in case we're down resources. I was thinking about going with maybe one Maestro and two 101s, but Maestro kind of does it. It's pretty much up sleep. But the thing is, I don't always want to go into 101, because then I might want to use the effect while Maestro can always just detach the block, but I might just go with three 101s, no Maestro, because pretty much, pretty much 101 plus Castell equals Maestro out of a job, so. 
we'll probably do that. I think we might actually do that. Instead of my stroke, we'll just go with three one-on-ones. Because I can just summon one-on-one, not even use its effect just to be a wall. So, And uh, one cowboy for game. So, uh, Make changes to the deck right in this, in this deck profile. But uh, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and say in the comment section below. Uh, the only card that I'm kind of looking at and kind of being like, eh, about right now is kind of Goldfish. Uh, I kind of had to test it out, but uh, that's the only card I'm kind of eh about. Everything else I'm kind of like, yeah, I, c I could do that. I could do that. I could see that. So uh, tell me what you guys think. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. Um, thank you guys for just so much support. Just, wow, 365 episodes of Daily Duels. An entire year of just dueling every day for you guys so thank you guys for continuing to watch and support me thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all support and i will see you guys when this deck gets put up on daily duels eventually hopefully mermels get hit hard enough on this balance that we can move on because episode one of daily duels is mermels and episode 365 is mermels so i believe that's the only deck on daily did i say vitamin why i'm in daily duels that's the only deck on daily duels to have to be on Daily Duels this entire time, this entire period. Any other deck, I believe, has been taken off and replaced by something else, but Mermel's is the only one that has survived. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, let's hope for another 365 episodes of Daily Duels.